Namaste students. Welcome back to 8th English class. Today we are going to learn Unit 6 Prowse Friendship. Section 1 and Section 2 last class we finished. What we learned about the friendship of two childhood friends named Vetri and Asif. Vetri settled in Coimbatore at the same time. Asif settled in Chennai. After the death of Vetri's father, his business collapsed. Now he is leading a common life and he found a job and started to lead a normal life. At the same time, Asif is a successful businessman. So, Vetri decided to Go and meet his childhood friend. While going to Chennai, he is remembering about his school life. They lived in the beautiful village Kiladi near Coimbatore. Uh, there was a middle school. Both of them met together and become very good friends. Up to 10th standard, they become very up to 10th standard, they were very good friends. Now, shall we see whether Vetri reached and met Asif? That is section 3. Vetri went straight to Asif's office. As he reached the gate, the security stopped him. Whom do you want to meet, sir? Vetri nervously said, I want to meet Asif. I am his friend. The security was astounded. Mr. Asif is our MT. Are you sure you want to meet him? Vetri hesitatingly said. Yes, I am his friend from his native place. The security said, check with the people in the reception. Sir, don't know if you will get an appointment. Okay, children. Vetri reached the office of Asif. Vetri went straight to Asif's office. Where did Vetri go? Vetri went straight to Asif's office. As he reached the gate, uh, there was a security. As he reached the gate, the security stopped him. What did the security do? The security stopped Vetri. Whom do you want to meet, sir? And he asked a question. What he asked? Whom do you want to meet, sir? Vetri nervously said. Nervously means in an uneasy manner. Nervously said, I want to meet Asif. I want to meet Asif because I am his friend. The security was astounded. Astounded means shocked because he is saying Asif. The security was astounded. Mr. Asif is our MD. And he said, ah, this Mr. Asif is our MD. Are you sure you want to meet him? Are you sure you want to meet our MD? Vetri hesitatingly, 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 Vetri hesitatingly said, yes, I am his friend from his native place. Vetri told, I am coming from Coimbatore, native place. I want to meet my friend. The security said, check with the people in the reception. For that security told, better you, you can consult with the receptionist. Sir, I don't know if you will get an appointment. I don't know whether you will get an appointment or not. Are you clear, children? First paragraph. Vetri went to Asif's office. The time security asked him. He told he wanted to. He wanted to meet Mr. Asif. The time security officer said, "Check with the reception people." Okay. Vetri walked to the reception. Receptionist asked him, "How can I help you?" Vetri said, "Can I meet your MD?" Please tell him, Vetri from Keelakudi has come to meet him. Suddenly, the receptionist rose from his chair. The door behind Vetri opened. Vetri got a pat on his back. Finally, you found me. I saw you through the CCTV camera, said Asif. Vetri was dumbfounded. Vetri got it. No, Asif, I never got a chance to visit Chennai. Now, I have come to attend my friend's wedding. So I thought I would come to meet you. They spoke about their school days and the fun they had. Then they discussed their business. 
Asif took Vetri to his home for lunch. Vetri was surprised to see that everyone knows him. Asif's wife said, We all know you, but this is the first time we are meeting you in person. He stayed till the evening and Asif dropped him in the railway station. The children, Vetri walked to the reception huh, for getting an appointment. Vetri walked to the reception. Receptionist asked, How can I help you? Uh, politely, receptionist asked, What help you need? Vetri said, Can I meet your MD? For that, Vetri told, I want to meet your MD. Please tell him. Vetri from Keelakudi has come to meet him. And Vetri told, Vetri from Keelakudi came to visit your MD. Suddenly, the receptionist rose from her chair. Rose means uh, get up. Rise past and rose. Suddenly, the receptionist rose from her chair. She stood up. The door behind Vetri opened. Because the door behind Vetri opened, Vetri got a pat on his back. Huh. Somebody is patting his back. That is Asif. Finally, you found me. I saw you through the CCTV camera, said Asif. Uh, who is patting on Vetri's back? Uh, yes, his close friend, Asif. How did he know Vetri came? Because he watched through the CCTV camera. Finally, finally means at last, you found me. Kadasi, ni ana paaka vandirukkiya nu kekkare. I saw you through the CCTV camera. I watched you through CCTV camera. Said as if Vetri was dumbfounded. Dumbfounded means speechless with amazement. Mm, he couldn't talk a word. Vetri gathered. No as if I never got a chance to visit Chennai. For that Vetri saying, Ma, Chennai ki vara mudi ila. So I couldn't meet you. Now I have come to attend my friend's wedding and he is saying now I came to actually he came to meet Asif only but he told I have come to attend my friend's wedding so I thought I would come to meet you so, so I came to meet you. They spoke about their school days and the fun they had both of them talked about their childhood friendship about their school about the fun they made there then they discussed then. Finally, they discussed their business. I, uh, we know Vetri. What happened to his business? Everything he explained, I think. Asif took Vetri to his home for lunch. And Asif took Vetri to his home for lunch. Vetri was surprised to see that everyone knows him. When Vetri reached Asif's home, everybody knows Vetri. Asif's wife said, we all know you, but this is the first time we are meeting you in person. Uh, Asif Saif told uh, Vetri, you, uh, all of us know you, but today only we meet you. He stayed till the evening. Uh, that day, till the evening, he stayed there and Asif dropped him in the railway station. Finally, at the evening, Asif dropped him in the railway station. Whether Vetri asked any help from Asif? No, Vetri didn't open his mouth for help. But he told, instead he told, I came to visit my friend's wedding. Okay, the last paragraph you see children. Vetri reached home and told his wife everything in detail. She knew her husband, so she didn't ask anything else. Two days later, Vetri received a call. Am I speaking to Vetri? Vetri said, yes. The voice said, our MD Mr. Asif has assigned a project to you. He wants to meet you. Will you be able to come to Chennai? Vetri couldn't believe it. Okay. Vetri reached home. Hmm. Vetri came his home and told his wife everything in detail. And he explained everything to his wife. What happened? He reached the... Office, then he went to home and everybody know him, everything. Uh, he explained detailly. She knew her husband, so he didn't ask anything else. This um, Vetri's wife knew her husband very well, so she didn't ask anything else. He, uh, he don't want to ask any help. That character she knows, so she didn't ask anything. 
Two days later, Vetri received a call. After two days, Vetri received a call. What is what it is? Am I speaking to Vetri? Vetri said, yes, the voice said, uh, somebody is calling him. But they asked, am I speaking to Vetri? Vetri told, yes, I am Vetri. For that, the caller told, our MD, Mr. Asif has assigned a project to you. For that, the uh, uh, voice in the opposite side told, our MD, Mr. Asif has assigned a project to you. Yenga? MD or a project to Ungalka assign Panir Kanga. Are you ready to take that? He wants to meet you. And also, uh, she told uh, our MD wants to meet you in person. Will you be able to come to Chennai? Ah, can you come to Chennai? Vetri couldn't believe it. See, Vetri is uh, thinking to yes, again start his. Construction company, but he, he has no investment. He didn't get any loan. Now, finally, his friend helped him. He assigned a project to Vetri. Vetri couldn't believe it. Can you say a proverb for friendship? A friend in need is a friend indeed. Is it correct, children? Ah, this is the real friendship. Okay, children, I think. You understood, see the new words. Nervously. Nervously means in an anxious or uneasy manner. Astounded, shocked or greatly surprised. Hesitatingly to be reluctant or what to act because of fear. Tayakam. Dumbfounded, speechless with amazement. Dropped the act of a person or thing that drops. Okay, children, here choose the correct answer. Vetri went to Asif's home, office, room. Where did Vetri go? Can you say yes, office? Vetri came to Chennai to visit his dash friend. Asif saw his friend through the camera. Next, choose the correct synonyms for the italics. Synonyms means meaning, antonyms means opposite. Vetri constructed a bengla. Constructed, what is the meaning? Built. Second one, the brother started the business separately. Separately means apart. I am living in the outskirts of the village. Outskirts means outpost. As if quarrel with his friend. Quarrel means fought. He stood astounded. Astounded means shocked. Next, choose the correct. Shocked as well as we can say surprised both correct only children. Fifth one. Choose the correct antonyms for the italic words. Next time. Antonyms means opposite. Vetri's wife replied angrily. Angrily opposite calmly. The vegetables look fresh. Fresh opposite rotten. Vetri had a strong will to start a new business. Strong, weak. Vetri was surprised by his friend and surprised. He spoke nervously. Nervously, uh, opposite, confident. Okay, children, I will send notes for you. You should follow your classwork and revise very well. Thank you, children.